I'll do. Uh, gonna have a look at Streets of Rage remake uh, from what I've seen of it. Uh, absolute belter. I did try to put it on the Raspberry Pi, and uh, it doesn't seem to work for me. Uh, there are ways around it. Some clever people have done it, but I can't do it, so I'm not that clever. Let's have a look at it. So as far as I know, they've changed loads about it. Um, as you can see straight away, you've got a different introduction. Uh, amazing artwork. But we're not going to watch that. I'm just going to get on with it. So there's loads of different options as well, which I'm not going to go into. But uh, if you go into your settings, you can have Streets Rage 1, 2 or 3 uh, variations throughout the game, your fighting techniques and your, your power-ups. Uh, I opt for Streets Rage 2 mainly, because I don't like Streets Rage 3. Uh, I don't like the Streets Rage 3 axle in this either. I think if you complete the game you can unlock the Streets of Rage 2 characters. Um, obviously you've got all the characters that are available to play. Uh, including my favourite Adam, so I'm going to choose him. So unfortunately you've got the story uh, to follow. The cutscenes, which I can't be arsed with, that, that's another annoying thing in Streets of Rage 3. I couldn't be arsed with, it just pissed me off. I just keep skipping through it. So that's what we're going to do. Right, so you come up to the route map, and there you can start off uh, Streets of Rage 2 scene, or Streets of Rage 1, uh, or a different route altogether, that's a, the new custom one. And another one, I've not tried that before. So uh, I love Streets of Rage 1, um, especially the music. So we'll go with that one. So the graphics are cleaned up straight away there. Um, the music is proper music, it sounds amazing. All the sounds seem to be different. They sound a lot better. Uh, as you can see in the back there, you've got a reflection of the character in the window. Another feature of these shadows. You can see Adam's shadow there. It's not a round shadow. Proper silhouette. And when an enemy lands on the floor, just like that, or me, there's a uh, it kicks up a bit of dust as well. I mean, fair dues to the people who made this game. They put so much effort into it. They haven't overdone it. It's it just looks like a tidied up version of what we've always loved and what we all wanted more from. get to run, all characters, all characters get to run, this is a bonus especially for Adam who is quite slow, and Max. Like previously, I've only, I've only played this briefly um, because I can only play it on PC. I've um, never really actually sat down properly and played it because I didn't have any controls and just had the keyboard. And in my opinion, the keyboard is just the worst thing to use to control the game with.
Apparently I'm getting my head kicked in. So. Right. This is a bit too slow, Adam. Violent these fuckers as well. Mm -hmm. Right, so I think in the settings I changed it to Streets of Race 3 weapon type, so you can actually use the weapon in your special ability like that. So even the enemy <coughs> character sprites have been recolored and touched up a little bit and they just look a lot better. Oh, yes. That. Okay, so aside from your a button special move, we still have police car. Of course, in the first game, you didn't have the energy bars for the for any of the enemies, actually. Um, so it's nice to see what the names were. Well, especially the bosses, anyway. So straight away, I've noticed uh, behind the fence, we've got the city. It looks. I don't remember if it was in the original. It probably was, but it must have been darker because that stands out a lot more. Full attention to detail there. And Garcia. That's his proper name because in Streets Race 2 is Galcia for some reason. Gideon. So that's what his name was. Renegade. Of course, we got blood as well in this. Nice little touch to it. It's just that the subtle little things they've done, it, it just it makes it just the perfect game. Yeah. 
should have put this on easier. <laughs> Same sprite, yeah. Don't watch for this guy. What I hate about this is if you try to jump kick with this fucker, you might ape shit. Great to have this move because you always had to stay at the bottom of the screen and sort of work your way up to it. So I'm going to try one that isn't original. Let's see what that's like. Okay, so this looks like the Streets of Rage 3. So. Oh, 
great explosions as well. Blaze is pretty much the Streets of Age 3 sprite. The only thing I really hate about Streets of Age 3 is that it's hard to explain it, it's the, the punching sounds and the actual punching in like Streets of Age 2 is very solid. I always played with accent and when you punch someone you felt like you were hitting them and sounded like you did, but with this, well, Streets of Age 3 just sound it, the punches were too rapid and it was it just sounded like you're slapping them. It just didn't sound like it had an impact on it. I just hated that game for it. Plus the fan was shit as well. Very nice. Looks a lot better than what I remember it. I think we might have done a bit of touching up on this. Sounds like they've done something to the music maybe. Just remember that being dreadful. So this is a stage that, uh, in a badly played game review, I was mentioning in uh, Revenge of Shinobi, uh, one of the bosses, the one that jumps around and you have to knock out his shadows, uh, that scene for that boss reminds me of this scene. I think uh, in one of my previous videos you can, this is one of the characters you could play, I think it was Syndicate Wars, just awful, I don't think I bothered playing the character, but Ugh, too flimsy. Girly screen. So we have these uh, <coughs> Mona and Lisa. Thought they were. 
pain in the fucking ass because I remember this in the first game where you had twins on the boat and all they did was fucking backflip and kick you. What's the technique to do in it? motorbike level was supposed to be uh, included in Streets of Race 3, it was in the development stages. I do remember seeing a magazine article with this in it, and they, they obviously cut it from the whole game. This probably wouldn't, by the way this is performing, it doesn't look like a bad thing. Now I'm stuck on this bike. I can't move, I can't do anything. That's how that uh, motorway stage leads into this industrial area and a uh, jet flying past because at the end of this level you find jet. So that was a nice little touch there. Fuck off! shadow and then uh, jump kick. But not today. Fucking little bastards are in the way.
Oh, right. <clears throat> You've got a choice which direction to go, either through the arcade, or it looks like it's going to be the waterfront. I've, uh, I've never done this before. Let's try the other way. Entertainment Street. Try the last one, which is Streets of Rage 2. So, see what that's like. Oh. 
Strength is the my weapon. This is what I was on about earlier with the uh, Axel's attack. It just seems very weedy, very slappy, very quick. Just hate it. I hate the sprite as well. It's too loose. It's not. I don't know. Really. Street Space 2 Axel is so much better. I remember in school they had a massive argument with one of my mates about Axel. Uh, when this street, uh, Streets Race 2 first came out, uh, we discovered this button cut thing. And uh, I, I wanted to know what he said, so I quite simply looked in the instruction manual. And uh, right there it says, Grand up and that's what the move's called and that's what he says and he refused to believe it he said he doesn't say that at all he just says like da 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 which it sounds nothing like that it quite clearly is Grand up fan of this uh, music either. I bought uh, a CD off eBay years ago, which is a Streets Race 2 soundtrack, and this was the, the version of Go Straight, which I don't like. I much prefer the original game version. Now, this version of the music sounds really nice. I like what they've done there is with the, the pillar. In the original, you couldn't see behind it when you walked behind it. Now you can. And as soon as you move away, it goes opaque again. Okay, so you've got a choice again to go to the end or go up. Let's go up. I think I'm going to leave there, the, the effort that's gone into this game is above and beyond, it, it's so amazing. It's not quite over the top, because uh, normally it, a remake would end up like what Streets of Rage 4 has become, it's, you know, it's a massively popular game, but it's different, it's not the same as what 2 and 3 were, but they've kept original but they just made it look better. Obviously it's never going to fit onto a cartridge because a chip can't handle that size memory. It would be nice if it did. I'd love it if it did. Uh, I can't even get on the Raspberry Pi, so unfortunately it's stuck on the PC for me, which I can't stand. 
but everything, they've done everything, they've done every little detail, your, your fighting styles, your weapons, uh, even kept in the police car, which was everyone's favourite. Uh, changed the routes uh, in level, so now you've got a different scenery. It just looks really good. They've done an excellent job of this. So uh, if you can get hold of it, because I believe it was banned once, I think Sega got wind of this and um, got him to take it offline. But I managed to find a copy. But I think with a bit of searching you can find it. I, I think it's still out there. There's always someone that's got it up available to download, so get it, have a go on it, it's, uh, it's really good and it's got hours of entertainment.